Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal, Nuno here. So today, the 20th, uh, it was a big day for Apple. The, the keynote with all the new iMacs, uh, iPads, the new AirTags and everything. And also they released the, the, really, the, the candidate, the final candidate for iOS, macOS, tvOS, watchOS. And uh, I already made a video on the 14.5 final release for the iOS. It's already up. And now, regarding macOS Big Sur, let's go ahead and let's see what's new. And let's see what's new here. There, there is a long list, but the emphasis is on the M1 Max. I'll make a zoom here for you. I hope you can see it. So, uh, Mac OS Big Sur dot three adds support for the AirTags that were released or announced today. Includes iPhone and iPad app improvements for Macs with M1, uh, and also new emojis and adds new voices for Siri. And this is the detailed, uh, you know, also on the podcasts there are. Uh, a new redesign for podcasts and um, uh, Safari uh, also here a mention to Safari and reminders so there are lots of things that are uh, here on this release candidates now let's go ahead with the numbers first that's always what I like to see I have here the beta 8 Let's go ahead and see the numbers for the CPU first, the Geekbench. Keep in mind, um, I'm I'm still rocking a 2015, mid-2015 MacBook Pro 15 inch, okay? Um, and the numbers at that time with the Beta 8 were these ones and the release candidates, the CPU. Let me put these aside here and they are uh, uh, this is the new one the release candidate this one and this is the beta 8 so they are slightly lower on the single core and slightly higher on the multi-core keep in mind that i just installed about i don't know one hour ago and uh, of course there are still background tasks uh, working and probably these results will increase now regarding the graphics I also have here uh, this is the beta 8 and this is the beta the beta no the release candidate I'm sorry this uh, this are okay let me quit this let's go ahead and they are pretty similar, a little bit higher on the release candidate. By the way, the build number for this release is the 20E232. Okay, as you can see, this is the MacBook Pro 15 inch uh, Retina mid 2015. Now, um, what I had uh, noticed on the on the beta 8 is that my speed test my SSD was, you know, uh, not working well. Let's make a test here and see how it goes. Yeah, it's higher. It's higher. Yeah, on the right, uh, it was about about 1000 megabytes per second. And now it's okay again. Okay, I had issues with my SSD and now everything seems to be working okay but i will keep you posted on the follow-up video so everything seems to be okay now well, let's go to the new things over here let's quit this and this uh, they told us about the podcasts let's go ahead and open here the podcasts and let's browse and uh, I don't see any difference on the on the last layout in this one. So everything seems to be uh, the same. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and see the new Siri voices. Let's go to Siri. Uh, there are... Let me Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. 
Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. I think they are the same, but let me see here the languages. Uh, still no... It is still Brazilian Portuguese. It's still no my language. I mean, I'm from Portugal. So still on Brazilian. Uh, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. So I don't know if you noticed any voice, voice variety. Australian, British, Irish, South African, Indian and American. Now let's go ahead and see if there are any new wallpapers regarding no uh, that awesome wallpapers and launches on the new IMAX. Uh, I'm a fan of that. Um, no, no new wallpapers over here. Still the same regarding screen savers. Also the same. Uh, I must mention that I already made a video and I told you on the beginning with Final Cut and uh, Final Cut was working okay without any issues. I uh, uh, It was pretty similar with the Beta 8, everything seems to be working without any issues. Uh, all the third party... Um, uh, I don't know the, the name of this, the third party something, titles that I have, have seems to be working. And um, now, let's go ahead. The, they told us also about Safari, but when I open YouTube, it takes a long time to render, guys. I don't know why. Let me go see. Long time to, to render the page. And um, let me go here. Uh, to my channel, I go here to my channel. Um, yeah, let me go here to a uh, website also. I'm checking also with you guys, okay? This is a first look. Yeah, but the the YouTube, uh, it's you know it takes a long time. See over here where my mouse here. A long time to uh, to the icons to appear and let me see yeah so guys for now uh, I think this is uh, this is all let me check again here the notes uh, if I have anything here that is useful to mention Auto uh, Siri include new diverse voice options. Already saw this. Um, uh, everything is very focuses focus on the uh, the new M ones. Okay, um, and uh, guys, the fixes. This is what I want to show you also. The fixes. Uh, remind this, I will read to you. Reminders created via Siri may be intentionally set to early morning hours. iCloud Kinshane might not turn off. Uh, these are fixes, the following issues. The AirPods audio routing to incorrect devices for automatic switch switching. AirPods automatic switching notification might be missing or duplicated. External 4K displays or monitors may not display in full resolution when connected over USB-C. This was an issue with the M1 Max, so they resolved this. The login window may not display properly after restarting the Mac Mini, the M1, so also fix it. And the D-Well feature may not work in the accessibility uh, keyboard. So guys, for now this is all. This is a quick look or first look on uh, the new the new features okay uh, i will be testing of course all the apps if everything is working or not and uh, for now this is all i hope you stay safe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye